Should you use a service like Backblaze to back up your photos to the cloud? I do. And let me share some information with you on why. If you use my link in the description below for Backblaze, let's just get that up front right now. I don't get a kickback, but I do get a free month and you'll get a free month. If you just go to backblaze.com, you'll get a 14 day free trial. That's your offer. But if you use my link, you get an extra two weeks, 16 days, whatever, you get a month. You get a one month free trial. It is well worth it. So if you want to use Backblaze, please use my link down below. Give us both benefit. It's a win-win. So this is the fourth step in my process video up here on the process end to end from SD card to computer to backup drive to the cloud. So let me explain to you how this works. Once you install the Backblaze client and you tell it which drives to back up, there is some configuration you can say, don't back these files up. But if you just do the vanilla install, say I want my computer, yes, it does your computer, and this connected SSD or my backup drives. I don't send my SSDs to, to Backblaze, I just send my slow running backup drives. So I, I back up my computer, any photos I'm working on there, and my large backup drives. There is one hidden fee. I did some research on this and there was a video where someone was talking about Backblaze is a scam and a virus. It's not. It's not a scam. It's not a virus. Um, this gentleman does videos and he needs full computer power. Backblaze is persistent. They want to back up your drives. You can pause it, but it will restart after a period of time automatically. So the workaround is if you do something like that, shut off Backblaze before you start that process. If you get in the habit of a checklist and say, what do I need to do? Okay, I need to shut off Backblaze. Uh, or use a different computer for that process. The one that probably, and I do agree with this one, and I really don't like how this is done, is if you use Backblaze with the standard subscription, I uh, recommend going with one year or two year. Don't do month by month. It's much more expensive. But if you do the one year or two year, they will save your files for up to 30 days. And what that means is if you detach your drives and you do not reconnect them for 30 days, they're assuming the drives are gone. Backblaze is not an archive. It's not a copy on another drive for you. It's a backup of your existing files. So if your existing files goes away, they go away. So you need to reconnect your drives. And I reconnect mine a couple times a week. Not a big deal. So they do offer a hidden cost that's not up front on their website anywhere. It's not until you sign up and you start getting notifications when you're running the app. It's, hey, do you want that backup to last for one year instead of 30 days in case you don't attach it? For an extra $2 a month, we'll do that for you. So a little, little sneaky there, but that's what it is. So you know what that going into it now. Probably the biggest issue you may run into if you've been taking photos for a long time, your initial backup to Backblaze is going to be slow. Your internet provider might throttle you. You might be doing some other things on the internet. Uh, Backblaze will throttle themselves. So it could take a while. It could take not hours, not weeks. It could take months. So they do have an option that they'll send you a hard drive and you copy them to the hard drive and ship it back. You pay for the hard drive, but as long as you ship it back, you get that refunded. So you can get your files there much quicker. And that service is also available if you need to get your files. So let's say you've got four or five terabytes of photos. That would take forever to download over the internet. So if you had lost all your photos due to a fire, flood, or whatever, they're gone. You call back Blaze and say, I want all my photos or you log on to a client somewhere, log into your account, say, I want all my drives, and they'll put them on a hard drive and ship it to you. Again, they charge you for the drive, you can keep it, and they'll charge you for it, or you can send it back. It's up to you. Now, I've been using Backblaze for several years now, and I have yet to have to do a full restore, but I have been off-site somewhere, and I was traveling, and I was like, gee, I need that photo. I want the raw. Well, I don't have the raw with me when I'm traveling, but I just wanted one or two photos. I knew where they were. You watched my video from last week on where, how my photo storage works, or the week before. Uh, check that out. I was able to go to Backblaze, go to the folder that I wanted, find the photo, and download it like I'm restoring it, and then I could edit it. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's take a look at the website. Here we are at backblaze.com. I already got there. You can get to it by backblaze.com. But use my link down below. You'll get one month free, and so will I. At this site, you only get 14 days, so use my link. There's a sign in on this side. So let's look at personal backup. That's what you'll want to choose. And let's look at pricing. There are three tiers. There's the middle tier of $70 for one year, $130 for two. Or you can go month by month, do the math. You'll see that it's much more expensive if you go month by month. So try to go to the one year or the two year program once you are confident in the program. There are several major organizations that recommend it. You can see their record points there. 
But the benefit you get from Backbone is, as it says, is a peace of mind. It's going to back up all your data on your hard drive, on your computer, and also USB devices that you plug into it. It does it over a secure channel, just like you do with your bank, and all your files are backed up and encrypted, as I said. The restore is very easy. I have used it for a single file, but if you need to get all of the files uh, very quickly because you've lost your entire drive, they'll send you a USB drive. They'll charge you for that, but as long as you return it, you'll get that refunded. Very, very fast. So scrolling back to the top, again, the pricing plan is get $70 per year, $130 per two. Use my link, get 30 days free. If you really want to help me, hit the subscribe and the like and the notification bell so you know when I have new videos. I'll give you two videos that were very similar. Uh, one of them is my best video so far, how I recovered over 1,000 photos that I deleted on an SD card. And the second one is how I recovered actually the same photos I demoed by formatting the card and still being able to recover them. So check out those two videos. This is Doug Gabbard, Practicing Photography, and I'll catch you next time.